Okay, it is take two, my crafty friends, but I think I'm straight here now. And as I was saying before I started having technical difficulties, I'm doing things a little bit differently this week because this is the fourth and final episode of my online birthday card series. And I've been doing four cards at each of these online classes. They're free classes online here. And I'm broadcasting on Facebook Live at four o'clock on Thursdays and that's central time. And then I download these to YouTube as well. So the class is free for anybody that wants to watch. If you would like to receive the packets for my, pro my projects, hey Gail, I'm glad you're here. I do have all four packets uh, free with a $35 order. And then if you bump your order up to $50, you get the card packets and the PDFs, plus you get an embellishment and of course, you get a celebration item. Now, this offer is only good through the 27th. The 28th is the last day of celebration. I don't like to cut things quite that close. Uh, I'm a last minute Lucy, but that's a little too last minute for me. So, um, Velma, thank you. I appreciate that positive feedback. I'm doing things a little different today, and this actually allows me, when I do the camera this way, it allows me to stamp with... Um, regular. I don't have to stamp upside down, which is the way I normally do, in order to say hello first. So part of this was to uh, be able to stamp straight and also to, I've got a lot of ground to cover. So let me just start with, this was one of the card, uh, one of the stamp sets I featured. So this was the card we did on week one. And this was for the record. You're my favorite song. So these are all birthday cards. And then we did kind of a patriotic theme. And for the record, you're awesome. Happy birthday. And then last time I did this pink and black, uh, you're my favorite song. And then happy birthday on the inside. So today is going to be our fourth. And again, the method in my madness has been to give you some really, really diverse um, projects using the same set of stamps. So I've got four different stamp sets and this is uh, for the record. And so today, let me grab some paper here. Definitely gonna need some grid paper on this. So I have an eight and a half by five and a half piece of Daffodil Delight, it's bright sunny card that we are going to make and I'm using one color of ink. I'm using my tuxedo black ink pad. And this is a large stamp, this record stamp. I've embossed it with clear. I've um, used it going back and forth with the, um, um, what do you call it, stamp apparatus. There's a lot of fun things you can do with this. So you can punch it out with the circle, layering circle dies or you can just stamp it. And I'm going to make kind of a background today. And I'm gonna hide the hearts. They're super cute, but sometimes you don't want that on there. And I'm actually probably gonna turn this around because I think I want, no, probably have the two records at the bottom, one record at the top, and I think that will work. So I'm gonna actually cover these with black cardstock, the circles. And the way I'm gonna do that, it's exactly a one inch circle. So I have a one inch circle punch. We no longer have one in the current Stampin' Up! catalog. Boo hoo. <laughs> I kept mine when it retired. And so um, if you're lucky enough to have that awesome uh, circle punch, then that is what I would recommend you use. And if you don't, our layering circle dies, the nice thing is there are so many sizes of circle in there. So there's a one inch and about 12 others. So there's lots to choose from there. Now this is a super simple, almost, it's almost a, um, uh, a hashtag simple stamping card because this is, I'm gonna actually turn this down. I don't wanna have that black card, that black ink get onto my basic white, my crisp white cardstock. I don't know about y'all, but sometimes that happens to me. I turn my card, uh, my layer over to put the adhesive on it, and lo and behold, it picks up ink from where I've been working. I don't want that to happen. This is Daffodil Delight. There is my basic white cardstock. 
with Tuxedo Black ink. I've got three records there. Now this is my little packet here. That's the way they come to you in the mail. And hopefully, well, I had, haha, -ha, there they are. I see them somewhere. There are some more black circles. Come on, Candy. I had all my ducks in a row. Now I can't find my ducks. They're out wandering around. Ay, ay, ay. So let me show you while I have to go and get my black circle punch. Or, so that's what I'm gonna do right like that. My black circles seem to have disappeared. Fooey. Well, I hadn't put the punch away, so this is easily and quickly amended. So like I said, just a, a one inch circle punch. And I'm going to take each of these black circles and I've already stuck my layer down and I'm just gonna cover that up. And that kind of has two functions for me. Number one, I don't really need the heart this time. And number two, it kind of gives a nice little punch of color. So Gail, I'm sorry you're having Wi-Fi issues. I totally understand. We have a lot of cloud cover today in San Antonio and you're not too far from us. So I'm thinking you might have the same. Sometimes when the weather's really bad like this, our, our Wi-Fi is unstable. Oh boy. So hopefully you'll be able to catch the replay. Now I've got just a half inch piece of, um, Daffodil Delight cardstock, and that is what I'm going to put my greeting on. And I'm going to use for the record, and I'm gonna put happy birthday on the inside. So again, this is super, super simple, but it's very bright, classic colors. I love the boldness of the contrast between Daffodil Delight and Basic Black. Daffodil Delight also works really, really well with Night of Navy. It's that strong contrast that's just really nice. So this is going to go like so. I think I'm still in the camera. Now I'm kind of getting out of the camera, aren't I? Okay, so that is gonna go like so. Like I said, this is almost, yeah, I'm kind of getting out of the camera. This is almost a simple stamping card. I'm going to add a little bit of ribbon and a little bit of embellishment. Other than that, it's, I mean, everything is just a flat layer and it's just stamping. So I am going to go ahead and put this down. This is a four inch by half inch piece. I could trim it down just a bit, but I think I'm just going to leave it that length because I'm going to come over here with this red ribbon. Look at that pop of color. Isn't that lovely? This is what I mean about just that bold contrast is what I was looking for. And so this is Daffodil Delight, and this is Real Red and Tuxedo Black. Very classic, kind of Minnie Mouse colors. And you see how that little piece of yellow sticking out there actually really serves my purposes quite well. Now, I don't know if you've encountered these yet, but these are the Resin Stars that are in our mini catalog. And this stamp set is from our mini catalog. And this red bow, if you have any red, any real red um, ribbon you have uh, would serve this purpose. But this is the new linen ribbon and I, it's faux linen. And I think you'd like it a lot. It ties really nicely because it's quite thin. And um, yeah, Velma, I'm, I think I've moved up enough now. I'm just now getting your, oh, maybe not, okay. I see what you're saying. Thank you. Um, I really appreciate when you guys give me a little bit of feedback because sometimes I get going here and I kind of lose track of what's, what's happening with my audience. So these little resin stars, aren't they cute? This is part of the um, fan, the, the sports fan suite. But I think that these are just adorable. And that is it. For the record, now I am going to take, there's a happy birthday stamp that's part of this set, which serves my purposes perfectly. And on top of that, now it's quite small, 
that's okay because then I've got a lot of room to, I could either add more, I could add more records here or I could just have uh, lots of room. <laughs> this is what I didn't want to have happen. So this is why we have two sides of our cardstock and this is why I keep these little alcohol wipes in my little toolkit here because this is going to take that ink right off my fingers so that when I turn the card over, I don't end up getting it on my card again. Okay, let's try again. Look at there. And I'm gonna say, I don't usually do this, but I am going to put a little embellishment on the inside. And the reason I can get away with that is these little resin stars are actually quite flat. So I'm gonna take a yellow one here, and I'm gonna take a red one here. And that's also gonna help because my happy birthday is a little bit off kilter. So that is gonna go on the inside of my card. Sweet, huh? Super easy. So this is a quick and easy card other than the ribbon and the little uh, resin stars. This is simple stamping. And you could easily make this for a guy. I would just make this into a knot instead of a bow. And really classic, really simple for the record. So again, that is the fourth. There was card number four card number three, card number two, and card number one. So my aim was to give you lots of ideas on how to use a single stamp set times four. So there is card number one. We are going to move now to Sentimental Swirls, which is another stamp set from the mini catalog, and it is inspired by one of our million dollar achievers, and that is Sam Donald, otherwise known to most of us as Poodles. And she is in the UK. So here was card number one. Let me show you the stamp set first. Where did I put it? Here we go. Here's the stamp set. Lots and lots of um, stamps here. And um, some great, excellent greetings. Lots of fun. If you like to stamp, if you like to just like put stamps, ink, and paper together, this is a great stamp set for you. So here was card number one. This was card number two. This stamp set coordinates with two different punches. This was card number three, and we used the Memories and More cards and envelopes for this. And today we're gonna go all purple. So let me get my stamps ready. And while I'm doing that, just to remind you that if you would like to um, get the card packets for this class, the one I'm doing right now, um, you get all four card packets for free when you place a $35 order with my host code. And if you top your order up to 50, I add an embellishment as well as, of course, you would get a celebration item because we are in that celebration season right now. It's almost over, so don't forget, if you've been holding back, if you're waiting to get one more item, or what, if you haven't even placed your, <coughs> excuse me, your celebration order yet, now is the time because time is a wasting. Okay, <clears throat> now, this is a very large stamp. I'm using Gorgeous Grape paper and Gorgeous Grape ink. And this is a very large stamp, so I like to stamp it, or not stamp it, ink it upside down. And I'm just going to create a background of swirls. It's a large stamp, so you kind of have to get your hands around it. And I'm going to cover the entire background with my swirls. Now, truth be told, you really, this is a photopolymer stamp set, you really do need to have this mat underneath you, and I was trying to take a shortcut and not use it, but you know, you get a better result when you do things properly. If there's a shortcut, man, I'll find it. That is just the way I roll. But there's some things with stamping you just cannot short, you just can't shortcut. I keep coming down too far in the camera. 
So I'm having to make a few adjustments because I'm doing a little different than what I normally do with the camera, but I think so far I'm liking it and I hope that you are too. Again, I really need that feedback because it helps me know because I get busy stamping and if I start looking at too many comments, I won't get my projects done, which is why I'm doing things the way I'm doing them today. Okay, I kind of like that. I can always come back and add a few more swirls if I need to, but that's looking pretty good to me. So now I'm going to come in, put this over here, and I'm going to create a little banner to go across here. Now this is four and a quarter by two, and I'm going to take one of the small flower images, and I'm gonna do some random stamping and once again, I am using, hey Barb, I'm glad you're here. Uh, once again, I'm using Gorgeous Grape ink, and this is actually the fill-in, but I didn't want to have the full, um, I guess the full like outline and then fill it in. I just, I, this is such a perky, cheerful stamp and I love it in this gorgeous grape. It's so bold. The contrast there is just what I was wanting because this is going to be a lovely pop of color on my card base. Now let me show you where I'm going here and then we're gonna add some more color. So you can see how this is coming along really nicely. Look at how that bold contrast, that's exactly what I'm wanting. Now, I am going to, before I put this away, my, well, my purple ink, my gorgeous grape ink, I do have a Highland Heather strip here. It's a one inch strip and I'm going to add happy birthday because again, this is a birthday card series. Birthday cards are the ones I use the most, I think probably like most of us. Having said that, I'm getting ready to release my cards with a twist class for, March and it's heavy on sympathy and get well. Having said that, it's a stamp set where you can use any number of greetings. There's other greetings as well. But for me personally, this is what I have been, I have been actually just powering through the sympathy cards, unfortunately, as well as get well cards. It just seems to be going that way. So I figured, I keep hearing from my other friends as well, how many sympathy cards they need and they'll make a stack and they're already gone. So I thought, okay, that's happening for me as well. So that's where I'm gonna go. Now this is beginning to come together. However, we're gonna add some granny apple green. So let's start. This time I'm gonna use the outside and the inside of this little leaf image. And again, this is what's so fun about this Sentimental Swirls stamp set. It is a photopolymer stamp set. It's only $22. I think it's a real bargain. And I think it's super versatile. This is just a fun, happy card. And I'm telling you, you know, man, it seems like our world is on fire. So much going on around us. I'm so grateful to be able to have a creative outlet where I can come and just turn off the news and turn off my brain, hopefully, and just get into a positive, happy place and make something pretty that's going to do what I can do in my world right now. And that is make someone happy with a handmade card or even bring comfort by sending a handmade sympathy card. So sometimes our cards are not just there to send happiness. Sometimes they're there to bring comfort. Now you'll notice as I'm doing this fill in stamp, I kind of missed that one because I'm talking, um, I'm stamping off first. So I'm still using Granny Apple Green. The only two ink colors I'm using on this card are Granny Apple Green and Gorgeous Grape. Isn't that a gorgeous, gorgeous combination? Granny Apple Green and Gorgeous Grape. And this is just fun stamping. Again, if you like putting Ink on paper with stamps. Sentimental Swirls is a great stamp set for you. Now, both my um, ink pads are done and my, my stamping is done. I'm ready to assemble. So let me clear my decks here just a little bit 
And then I'm going to actually back this stamped piece with a what I call a micro layer of Granny Apple Green. Now, the reason I call this a micro layer is typically we do our layers at a quarter inch. This one is, a, is at an eighth of an inch. So this piece here is four and a quarter by two. And the piece I'm layering it on top of is four and a quarter, sorry. Yeah, four and a quarter by two and an eighth. So instead of being two and a quarter, I did two and an eighth. And that is going to go right there. Fun, happy, pretty, just really feminine. And that's gonna work. Now again, if I get going here and I think I need a few more swirls, they're really easy to add at the bottom or even at the top. I think that is going to be just right for me. And I think I will actually add, I need to trim that down just a wee bit. I think I am gonna maybe add one or two more swirls down here. Let me do that. I think what I'm gonna do, if you'll notice, I want to, uh, I, I need a little bit more of the, these swirls, the ones that are really tight and small. See, that's gonna give me just a little bit more. And these can even crisscross a little bit. Give me a little bit more of that curly cue look that I'm loving in sentimental swirls. Oh, I forgot something. Lord have mercy. Here we go. Let's see if Candy can do it. Oh yeah, that, that adhesive is not, not dry yet. Okay, before we stick that down, What's Candy gonna do? She's gonna use a doily, of course. So with these doilies, it doesn't matter which one you choose, because I'm gonna turn it over and use the white side. That is gonna go there. And now I'm putting this, my little stamped piece, right across there. And I'm liking that a lot. So now I'm ready to come in with my happy birthday super sweet and I yeah I probably should pop this up on dimensionals everything I've kind of sometimes I get in a little bit of a of a not a funk a um a routine where I'm not using very many dimensionals and then I kind of use them like there's no tomorrow so um and they're out here somewhere but can candy find them no she cannot so Let's go ahead and pop this up. Well, these are my minis, but we'll just use two. And, hey, I'm so glad, Crystal, that you and your mother-in-law are creating together today. I love it when families create together. I'm gonna get to go see actually all my grandkids in the next few months. And the ones that live here in the States and are old enough to craft, are um, we're going to go see next month. And I've already got a few little projects, some little paper pumpkin things that I'm going to take in my suitcase for them to make so we can have a little bit of crafty time together. I'm already plotting. Super excited about that. Okay, now I'm going to do one more little thing. Woohoo, I'm on my second card and we are halfway through. I'm gonna take a little bit of this gold cord, and this is from the Simply Elegant Trim. And this is a must have. I think it's like $7, and you get a roll of the gold and the silver, so you know, you're totally covered. If you're wondering what to put on your order for today, Simply Elegant Trim is definitely right up at the top of my list because you can just use it all year. It's really good on Christmas stuff because it has that, that gold and the, and the silver, but honestly, you can do it for so many things. Now, I'm gonna show you something that I'm gonna add to as many of the, well, I'll add it to as many of the cards as I can on the card kits, but um, I'm gonna do an envelope on this one. I can't do an envelope on every card here today because I would run out of time. But, oh, I'm glad you like these colors together. They're, they're fun, bright, happy, youthful, 
yeah. Now that's a little wonky. Let's get it over and let's bring this down a little bit. There we go. Now once I get it the way I want it, then I'll really press it into that glue dot. And I might need one extra glue dot. No, I think it's good. Now what I'm gonna do on this one, and I don't have time to do it on all of them, but this is the marble paper and look how gorgeous that looks. So here we go. We are going to add some liquid glue all the way around the edges of my envelope. And of course, I have a glob right there. Look at that. This is Gorgeous Grape, one of the colors in the Simply Marvelous paper. So you could earn this paper for free with a $50 order that you place my, today. Well, my host code runs through... Um, well, my host code will actually run through the 28th. But when you place your order through the 27th, is when I will get packets ready and off in the mail next week. Now I am behind on some packets, so bear with me. I do get them done in the end. Sometimes it takes me a little longer than I anticipate because I tend to get a little too many irons in the fire. So there is my envelope to go with my very bright and happy, gorgeous grape card. I think this would be perfect for my granddaughter that is, well, she turns 12 in just a few, in just two more months. Um, this would be a great card for her, a teenager, anybody youth, it's a very youthful look. So again, this is the fourth card in my series of cards with sentimental swirls. This is card number one. This is card number two. See, it just has a really youthful look, doesn't it? Now this one, card number three, this is more of a classic look. So it just kind of depends on the colors that you use. And then there's card number four. Okay, moving along, we are going to move to Artful, Artfully Layered. And I think I probably, yeah, I think I'll be all right. Uh, once again, while I'm getting ready, there's my host code and my information about orders placed with this online class. Orders placed through Saturday can earn these kits for free. Okay, now let's see where we've been and where we're going. Stamp set number three is Artfully Layered, and this is actually a bundle. So it's a beautiful, beautiful bundle from our um, mini catalog, and there are a lot of fun dies. A lot of fun dies, a lot of fun stamps, lots of cool things you can do with just the stamps or with, well, I think I've used the stamps and the dies on everything. This was card number one, very much can go with a masculine feel. All of these really can go masculine. This was card number two and actually gave this to my son for his birthday in February. This was card number three for Artfully Layered. And let's see where we're gonna go today. So this is the way your card kit comes, except that you would only get a portion of that. <laughs> so I'm going to go really deep today with another high contrast. So this is a half sheet of Mossy Meadow. This paper, the paper that goes with this artfully layered um, suite is really gorgeous. And it has like four different greens in it. So you really can't go wrong with your greens. Um, I chose to pick up the, uh, the shade of green that's in this kind of... Um, more of a palm frond looking leaf. There's a lot of tropical leaves in this. Really gorgeous, very artsy, um, aptly named um, sweet. So this one has a lot of green and then just a little bit of papaya, a little bit of calypso coral. Now I'm going to, a lot of times you have a really busy piece like that. If you kind of do something in the middle, you get all that effect without it kind of overpowering you. So I'm using the kind of quiet side of this piece, which is all polka dots. And that's going to calm this whole thing right down and allow me to use some of the beautiful, beautiful dies. So this is four by three piece of um, Mossy Meadow. And then I have three and a, three quarters by two and three quarters on my um, 
designer series paper. Okay, so that's coming along. Now I'm going to take, I've already run this through. I've run this die and this die through. Now this one, you can see that these don't match and I want them to. So all I'm gonna do is flip that over and I'm gonna layer it. Now I have, and this is what I will do for your packets. I have run this through using the adhesive sheets. Highly recommend that when you're doing these really intricate dies. And these leaves, not this one, but these with all of the little pieces, definitely an intricate die. And if you get a start on it, a lot of times the adhesive will just kind of pull all those extra pieces with it, which makes life a lot simpler. Highly recommend the adhesive sheets. I will say they add a little bit of thickness to your dies. And so I usually end up having to use a shim. And what that means is that when you're running it through your die cutting machine, you take a little piece of copy paper or maybe two pieces of copy paper. Ay, ay, ay. Didn't all, oh, what am I doing here? And run it through and it gives that extra little bit of thickness. Well, it didn't, didn't quite cut all the way through, so I'm kind of butchering it, but I think we can, I think once we put it down, hopefully, <laughs> we can get it all put together. So let's see how we get on the best laid plans. Okay, so here we go. That is gonna go right like that. And you can see it's super sticky. It's wanting to stick to my hands. And this little piece here is gonna be my problem child. So let's see, what can I do here? Hmm, not even totally sure what happened. Oh, I think that's the excess piece right there. There we go. Okay, there. And maybe, I think I ripped this piece off over here. Oh yes, there we go. I think that was meant to go here. So, I think we can piece it together. Let's see what we can do here. Sometimes you have to do a little surgery on your die cuts. Of course, part of this is because I need to go to the eye doctor and get new glasses. Ha ha, voila, look at there. Okay, and that I'm gonna pump over just a wee bit because that'll bug me. Okay. There we go. So there is my layered leaf. I like it a lot. Hey, Simone, I'm glad you're joining us. Now I have a little piece of pale papaya and this is what I'm going to put my greeting on. And this is, I'm going to use Evening Evergreen, which is this color of cardstock here. And I'm going to stamp my greeting first. And this is a one, another one inch piece of cardstock. So let's go ahead and stamp this and flag the end. Super easy. Happiest birthday wishes. And then while I have my ink out, I'm going to go ahead and take the panel that's going on the inside of my card and I'm gonna take the coordinating stamp that goes with, whoopsie, <laughs> goes with my die cut and I'm gonna place that on the inside of my card like so. And then I'm gonna do it one more time without inking up. So now I have those two tropical leaves. Now I have a little bit of fancy footwork here, which I think is really fun that I'm gonna do. Let's go ahead and put this on the inside first. So let's, this is just a five and a quarter by four inch panel. You know, more often than not, I do this on the inside of a card, even when it's not dark. Well, I mean, even when the card stock is not dark because I feel like it gives a more finished look. Now, if it's a more casual card and it's a light color, maybe not, but I do think it just adds, just that extra layer always adds a sense of luxury and just a, a luxurious feel. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add quite a bit of adhesive here. And I'm gonna go ahead and position this where I want it. And then I'm going to flag my strip here. And I'm going to pop this right on top, but I'm gonna to tuck that in so that it just 
peeks over the edge of my happiest birthday wish. See that little bit of fancy footwork? But again, I'm going to, this is just gonna lay flat um, all the way across there. So I'm gonna put a fair bit of adhesive on it. I wanna make sure that it doesn't go anywhere. So this is why I put a lot of adhesive in the center of my leaf, but not on the edge so that I could tuck that in. I'm liking that a lot. Honestly, I could give this to a guy. I think this whole suite um, is really good for masculine. Now I'm taking a couple of these Calypso Coral um, sequins. This is from the Artistry Blooms, I think is the name of these um, set of sequins. And I think I'm just gonna have a little bit of fun with these. And, may, oh, that looks good. And then maybe let's go with a couple more because we can. And that's going to give us a lot of shine, a lot of interest. Hmm, let's see. Sometimes less is more and sometimes more is more. I don't think that's too many. I think that's okay. I think I can get away with that. So last little tiny touch is I'm gonna take some of my white twine. And this is from the, uh, I think it's called Essentials or Neutrals pack of twine. It has like five different colors of neutral. You get crumb cake, you get white, black, gray. This is an annual catalog item. And I want this to be really, really small. So let me give you a little tip here on the way I'm gonna do this. I'm going to use, the reason I tucked this into my little kit here today, you know, if you're a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, you get a set of these glue dots most months, and they're smaller than the ones that we have regularly. And sometimes, like right now, I just want a little tiny, I'm gonna put a tiny bow here and a regular glue dot would be a little bit too much. Now, having said that, these little tiny glue dots aren't quite enough for a lot of our embellishments. So it's nice to have both. Hey, Betty, I'm so glad that you are here today. Yes, the fun fold directions are on my list. I'm telling you, it's been a little crazy around here. But I'm getting there. I'm getting there. So this is the little adhesive protective bit that I need to get off. So now that is gonna go there. And you know, this is just perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Now where are my ribbon scissors? Ah. It is best to have scissors dedicated to paper and ribbon. Okay. So there is my card number four in the artfully layered suite. So card number one, card number two, card number three, and card number four. So this is again the fourth in my series of birthday card classes. And now, last but not least, and I'm gonna do this a little different because my original card I wasn't totally happy with and I was changing it right before I was coming on camera because that's just kind of the way my brain goes sometimes. I'm like, no, I'm not happy with it. So, we are going to change things up a little bit, and the last one that we are doing is Friendly Hello. This is the one, uh, sorry, this is the one um, celebration set that I've been featuring in my birthday card class. It actually comes as a bundle with the stamp set and the paper. Now this is card number one, and this was a pocket card. And this is card number two. And can I find card number three? Of course not, so I think it's on my blog, but anyway. <laughs> so we are gonna go a little bit different today because I used the bird on the first two, and then I used those big flowers, I think, on the third one. And so this time I'm going all petal pink. Let me show you what I've got here. I think I better get rid of some of this paper here because it's gonna end up getting color on my piece. Let's see if I've got a clean piece. Yay, there's a clean piece under me. 
Okay, home stretch card number four. I hope you guys are having a good time. I hope you guys have enjoyed this series. I think I'm gonna continue to do some of these online card classes. Um, so again, let me hear your feedback. Tell me what you've liked and what you'd like to see more of, maybe what wasn't helpful. I'm, I'm happy to have the negative and the positive because you know that's how we learn. So what I've done here is I've taken a bunch of strips. These are all three quarter inch strips from various patterns of this um, cardstock. Now, yeah, you can see the other side has, but I wanted kind of a monochromatic look on this. So what I'm gonna do is make sure I'm, yeah, this is a, uh, this is a, um, what do you call it? A portrait style card. And I think I'm gonna actually, if I can get it to come out this end, See if my liquid glue is going to cooperate. Ah, uh, yes. I'm going to use just a tiny bit of my liquid glue to do these little strips. So these, again, these are three quarters by four. And I'm just going to start and not get too fussed about them because, you know, you can always... Um, you can always overlap them if you have too many. And I think I actually cut one more than I need. So these are three quarters by one, and I'm just going right up against one another. And you'll notice that some of these patterns are just um, the um, petal pink and white, and some of them have petal pink, white, and black. And there's actually two patterns of the, of the petal pink and white. This one has this little tiny flower that I'm gonna be using today, because I haven't used that one very much at all. It's a beautiful stamp set. This Friendly Hello stamp set has a lot of stamps in it. I think we get really caught with this gorgeous, gorgeous bird and the big, um, oh yeah, yeah, that's not what I wanted to have happen. The big um, flashy flowers, but you know, there's some little tiny flowers in here and some greenery and that's what I'm gonna key in on today. And Okay, so now I'm taking, I'm just starting again with the same one that's here. And let's do the same one next. Another one with just all petal pink and white. And then we're gonna do another petal pink and white. And I think this ends up taking like seven of these strips. Now, Betty is a math tutor, and she could tell me these are all three-quarter inch strips, and I've got seven of them going here. And that is actually going to work really well for me. <laughs> Other than that little splodge of, of glue I have down there, so I think I can probably repair that. That's my challenge with the, with the liquid glue. I know I do use it, and I love it, but I'm a little heavy handed with my stamping and with my gluing and I end up with too much and then I end up with, yeah, a look I don't like. Okay, so now I'm going to take this is going to be where I'm going to do all my stamping. So let's get this little guy out again because this is a photopolymer stamp set and this is a die cut from mm, Stitch So Sweetly, I think. So these are the four little, I'm using all these little stamps this time. And let's see what we can make here. We're gonna start with black, and this does have a little bit of black in with the petal pink. So I'm gonna do my birthday greeting, and this birthday greeting is fairly small. So everything is gonna be kind of small here. I do like things to be to scale. So with all these small images, I have a small greeting. Hope you have the best birthday. It's a lovely, lovely sentiment. And then I'm going to come in here. The next thing I'm gonna do is this little flower in petal pink. Let me find my inks. You can see my workspace. I've got a lot of stuff going here. <laughs> okay, so here's my little petal pink flowers. And we're just going to do like so. A couple of them. 
I think that might be all. Let's, let's start with less is more. Let's, let's start down that route and see how we get on. So there's my petal pink flowers. And now I'm going to come behind here with some soft sea foam, really pale green ink. And I'm taking this little, this little image could be like some berries or some, I'm going to call it some, I'm gonna call it a little bit of greenery. So let's see how we can bring that along. Little bits of greenery. And then last but not least, hope I didn't get too many of them. Hey Beth, I'm glad you're here. Now I'm gonna use a little bit of gray granite. So I have my black here. I've got black and white here. With the petal pink, petal pink is a warm color, so I figured, okay, let me try the, the, the warmer gray, which is gray granite, and let's do a few of these little paint spatters. Like I said, this stamp set has a ton of really cool images, and I think I've been camping out with just the, the bird for a while, so I wanted to kind of change it up a little bit. So that's coming out really sweet. Now I'm gonna come along here and I'm gonna put this big, fat, big, fat, fat daisy on here. It's a lot of white. I usually don't put quite that much white, but I think it's gonna work because I think I'm gonna put this little petal pink ribbon on there. Oh, I think I'm gonna like it. And this, I'm really in love with this um, paper. This is the, I need to pop this up on dimensionals. And, oh, I found my regular dimensionals. Look at there. See if I just keep stamping, it all comes together. And I find what I'm looking for. Okay, so this little guy is gonna be popped up on dimensionals. And then I'm gonna put This is two of the, the, the large and the medium daisy. And I'm just, you know, if you're gonna go flowers, let's just go flowers all the way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to glue these flowers together. And then some of this flower is gonna go directly on my popped up piece here. And some of it's gonna go where there aren't already dimensionals. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put dimensionals over here. So I need my minis. This is when you're really glad you have these mini dimensionals. Tell you what, when you need a mini, you need a mini. So make sure you have these on hand. So now I can pop that and whoopsie, they're sticking to my fingers. And I'm going to put some adhesive right over here so that this is gonna go directly on my card. Okay, where's my dimensionals? Here, here, and here. Okay, so now that's gonna go like so. And then, look at that sparkle on there. This has so much sparkle, but it doesn't have any glitter, like, um, you know, you usually have, Glitter has a bit of texture and chunk. What do we think? Is that bow too much? Let's try a knot. I brought the ribbon over here because I wasn't sure. Like I said, I changed this right before I was going on camera. Couldn't decide what I was gonna do. Let's try a knot and see if this is a little bit better on the scale, because everything is really small. I think this might be better. Let's try it and see. We'd like this a little better. Oh yeah, I think that's better. I think that's better, and I think I'm gonna bring it up and down. What do we think? Or should I not even do that? Maybe I don't need that. Let me try putting my my gems on next, and let and we'll we'll decide. Okay. So I'm gonna use the champagne rhinestones is my embellishment. And you know when you get the card packet, you get all the little embellishments and ribbons and the die cuts and all that. You know, you have a card kit ready to go. And then if you have these stamps, great. And if you don't, you can just use whatever stamps you have on hand. 
Oh, I think I like that better. Everything here is small scale, and I think that ribbon was a little bit too, a little bit too much. Much as that pains me because I love, love, love that petal pink ribbon. You know, those of y'all who watch me regularly know petal pink is my absolute favorite color. I absolutely love it. I never get tired of it. And these champagne rhinestones are the perfect embellishment for any time you're using the... Um, one, two, three, four, five. I think that's about right. Anytime you're using petal pink champagne rhinestones is the way to go. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is my petal pink card, which is card number four in my series using the Friendly Hello Bundle, which has the stamps and paper free during celebration only through the 28th of this month. So if you haven't gotten this yet, you need to hop over to my online store, Shop With Candy, Dot com and grab it if you are a demonstrator of course you are getting it with your 20 percent discount so oh velma i'm glad you like this i was a little bit unsure wanting to use all those little tiny stamps but they're so pretty and i think that if you don't get them out and use them and try them out then you just don't really know what's what well jeanette thank you i'm glad you have liked this series i know for me I did a sample of these, and I did them all on camera. So I did four different stamp sets at each class. Well, the four same stamp sets. So I did six. I gave you guys 16 ideas. So hopefully that is something that is going to help you. Yes, Simone, you're right. This is very delicate. Delicate colors, delicate images. But, you know, it's got a lot of sparkle and shine. So it has that, that sense of... Um, of beauty and specialness. So we did lots of different styles. We did some masculine. We did some cards for the younger girls. And we did cards that would kind of be for anybody. Um, I think that this, for the record, was just really fun to work with. And um, yeah, I mean, this, I'd put a knot on it. That'd be great for a grandson. Um, this as well, put a knot up there and that's great for, I have a grandson in the military. So yeah, that is it for today, folks. Uh, one more time, let me just remind you that with your $35 order, you get the PDF tutorials and you get the card packets by mail. If you bump it up to 50, you get all that plus an embellishment. And of course you get a celebration item. This is only good through February 27th, which is Sunday. Because February 28th, celebration ends, and I need to get orders in before the end. I, I don't want to cut it that, sh that close. And usually when I'm running these classes, I run them on Thursday and have the host code good through uh, Sunday. So yeah, I hope that you have enjoyed this. Again, this is a free card class. The card class itself is totally free. You can watch this anytime. You can go back over the... Um, the um, the video and catch measurements as I'm giving them out, which I try to do pretty regularly. And um, hopefully you have lots of ideas for celebrating birthdays for the special people in your life during 2022. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're watching on YouTube, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it so much. And if you're on Facebook Live, give me, heart my, uh, my post. That helps me so much. And I will be posting these cards little by little on my blog. So make sure you're following me at sweetstamper.com. And have a great weekend. Stay warm. And I will see you on Tuesday at facebook.com slash sweetstamper. Thanks so much. And God bless.